Hi guys and welcome back to a new small talk video. I want to talk today about my videos and I change a, a little style in my videos. Um, for example, I want to use now a new textile for the name introducing of the video and in the end I do something new in the videos too. Then I want to say something about my little new light setup and in the end I want to talk about um, one year Linus Manjaro for video editing. So, may you saw it in the intro or not in the intro, may you saw it at the beginning of this video, I use a new style of text or title um, because my last thing was a bit not so interesting. I'm not the guy who want fancy and flashy titles. I want clear and not plain but simple titles in my videos. And in the end there's something new too. Um, for my light uh, settings or for my video settings currently there's not big changes um, but little changes. First I use um, my ceiling light that is the LED panel. I find out the IKEA LED panels does not flicker really and uh, the size is okay it's maybe around 80 by 80 centimeters and it's now dimmable and um, so I can blow up the light very hard so for example more bright so that the maximum of the brightness and now I can dim it down for a better view from me when I am for example I need more light in the room when I want to try filming something in the room so I crank it up and so you can see everything. Then I bought some little cube light from Rolli. This is called Lumanis or so. A very cube like this size of a um, light. Very nice. This light is now one light is shining to me and the other light is charging. It's battery um, portable lights. Very great thing. I use I had this light a long time but I'm not sure can I use the video or so. Um, that is now uh, the first real try to use this in video. Um, the second thing what I have in this setup is a Sigma 60mm lens. It is the um, uh, version with one point. I have to look in the lens. 1.4, 60mm with the aperture on 1.4. And it's a great lens. It's, at very, it's very fast and it, the autofocus works very well on the Zcam E2. I tried this on the Zcam E2 M42 and works fine too. And that is the video now with this lens. Um, I like the sharpness of this whole lens. Maybe the flicker ring is because sometimes I touch this stupid uh, remote, so I put it better away. Um, yes, the lens is great for this video work. I try to use it now more, especially on my small talk videos, on sm more on my um, purpose video where I don't need a zoom or so. I want to buy in the future the 10 up to 25 from Panasonic and maybe a, a zoom lens from Panasonic so, so for filming for example outside and um, birds or ships in the port so yeah, well, the last thing, and maybe that is the longest thing what I want to talk about today. Um, by the way, I can recommend the 60mm and it's very good because it's very sharp. It's, I did some test video before I did 
did this uh, do this small talk video and I like the detail and the 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 rendering of this lens is great from personal for me I'm not sponsored by Sigma or sponsored for any shop so you can use a, a search on YouTube more and more of this um, typical reviews the best thing is rent it out for your camera try it and so it is for my mount the MFT mount the image circle I hear it is a bit bigger of the sensor like the um, like uh, the MFT I hear that should be APS-C but um, on MFT mount and sensor for example the Z cam or the Panasonic GH series you have the two times um, field of view so this is a 16 it's uh, in um, 30 uh, it is a 32 mil equivalent to a normal full frame camera so that's to the setup today I know it's a very simple setup but sometimes for the snore talk videos I need simple and good not complicated um, hopefully the next lamp is charged so I can use two lamps and one my big uh, ceiling lamp and I hope for this works fine the last thing now I use since maybe that's very interesting for you too I use since one and a half year Linux Manjaro on a main system for video editing with DaVinci Resolve on a very decent machine it's a Xeon machine with around 12 cores, 128 gig of memory, um, with uh, now with a, uh, it's a RTX 2080 Ti. I swapped this card out to a RTX Titan. Um, the operating disk is a normally SATA SSD from Samsung, and the scratch and work disk. It's a PCI Express um, disk or uh, card. The platform is X99. Um, this whole system works fine. It's rock solid. I installed Linux Manjaro in the Mate um, environment, but with a Mac OS style desktop. Not, it's not like Mac OS. I put the, the, the menu bar in the top, I have a dock down and it's worked very well. Special, and that's maybe for you interesting, with Linus Manjaro, uh, not Linus Manjaro, sorry, DaVinci Resolve. I use the paid version, the studio, now in the current version 18 and it works fine. but. We better I start at the beginning. I had an issue with my machine to install Windows 10. And the problem was not uh, I could install it, but the performance was not well for me. I cannot really edit it good, and I got this system for free. It's a around 12 core system. It's very great, and. Okay, it's not now so fast like a current system like the Apple II M2 or the Apple M1 or a current Ryzen CPU or Xeon CPU. But for this age, this X99 platform works excellent for me. I can edit my 4K DCA, 4K ProRes uh, stuff. I can edit my um, DNX HR stuff from the recorders from that Thomas from the Z-Cam, from the Array uh, on from the Red Komodo. I cannot edit, edit everything on this machine. Um, now with Linux Manjaro. I could not use this really with Windows 10, I don't know why. And I like to use Linux a long, long time. So I decided to install the, the Linux Manjaro on the system and I Say, hey, why not to try it? Um, I use this now one year. I added some projects on it. I added, for example, a theater project on it. 
mostly my videos on this channel are edited with this um, program. Some videos from my friends added on this uh, program with DaVinci Resolve with Linus Manjaro. And I'm very excited to use it. The performance is flawless, no uh, lagging or stuttering, no issue with the format reading. I can um, nice DN recode and encode the stuff. The little downside is I cannot really good encode and decode ProRes. I have to use the FFmpeg or so I'd call it in the command line, but I figured out and fitted out the best solution for this. In DaVinci, I use mostly DNxHR, um, and I'm happy to use this. It's work flawless and very powerful. My future, uh, f future project is now I order the parts is the Ryzen um, CPU, the current version, or a Threadripper up to uh, the Ryzen up to 16 cores. Um, and the Threadripper thinking about maybe 64 cores. I know it sounds complete crazy, but I'm a guy who likes crazy stuff and I like to work with and fidget with these extreme machines. The Ryzen machine should get 128 gig of RAM, hopefully not crash, <laughs> and the Threadripper get around 512 gig of RAM because I like to use RAM and I get this whole RAM thing cheap from a buddy who helped me a lot with. Um, Board-wise, I want to use both ASUS, okay, some, don't, some guys hate ASUS, some guys love that I'm not a fanboy of ASUS, but the boards work fine. The boards support, are very well supported under Linus Manjaro, and I have no big problem. Um, I try, the, the only concerning was um, about this uh, installation or thinking is works Linux Manjar well with AMD processors or CPUs. I spoke to a guy who is uh, very great and he helped me a lot and he uh, answered every question um, and blow my uh, considering away and now I plan I order the parts, I have the parts still here in a few days and then I slam it together to a high-end and high performance uh, Linux stationary um, workstation for DaVinci Resolve. By the way, I can with this machine grade, do grading up to DCA4K flawlessly without no problems, but I need the power and the snappiness of a better machine. So. And I will grow up and won't use more and more of the high-end stuff. So, um, yes, I want to try to use an AMD system now. The old system, maybe get to a good body for gaming or so. Yes, in the mobile, uh, in the mobile system, I want to buy me, for me a MacBook Pro M1 chipset because I need um, a mobile station with a high amount of power to use this and that is my decision to buy a Apple M1 MacBook Pro. Uh, it's not cheap but it's ideal for um, external and working with the Zcam or generally with the ProRes codec and I like to work with this codec, it's robust, it's very easy to edit and rendering out is good and so. Okay, that was a conclusion. Linus Manjaro worked extremely well with DaVinci Resolve 18, under ProRes, under DCA 4K, no stuttering, no problem. The ingest is extremely nice. Kate reader on, USB 3 and up going. Uh, the cards and so. Um, by the way, I use Angelbird cards. I have four 512 gig Angel Bird cards in my Zcams. I have now the Zcam E2, and in the future I have the Zcam E2 S6. This is Super 35 camera with the EF mount, and so. 
Okay, but guys, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe and like this video. And if you have a question, put it in the comment. And now I wish you a good day in your environment with your gear and have fun with your video editing software. And I say now, peace and bye-bye.